it, it's this is this is a global problem. Um, the, the the oil market is one great pool. So when there's a shortage of oil, um, at the end of the day, everyone suffers. And at the end of the day, which you know we can talk about a little bit later, maybe it's usually the, the sort of uh, the, the poorer places suffer. But of course, Europe will be hit immediately because of uh, of, of the situation. Um, I think the attitude of um, OPEC has been rather disappointing because uh, they, they can very, very quickly supply to the market one or two million barrels and help everyone, not Europe, everyone. That includes India, China, and the developing world. Um, and, and I think that the, the fact that OPEC is, is holding back the volumes, trying to support the, the market, is probably going to um, hurt them in the long run, but that, that's not the issue right now. The yeah. issue right now is that their attitude is a little bit like, you know, invasion of Kuwait and, and sort of the West talking to Saddam Hussein about sort of cordial relationships, uh, which is not quite uh, ethically right either. If, you know, Europe would quite gladly like to impose sanctions on imports of Russian oil, which UK and US have done. But if they do so, Russia could retaliate by imposing sanctions on gas. So for Russia, oil is far more important. For Europe, gas is far more important, and they don't dare do that. And so we're in this sort of interesting situation where neither party is doing much about it, and Europe is phasing out over a long period of time. 